election like we have never seen before in this state. After weeks of mail-in and early voting, the final voters and a record number of them for a Kentucky primary will cast their ballots by tomorrow. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Doug Proffitt. Right here in Jefferson County, the only place you're going to be able to vote tomorrow is in person, and that's at the Expo Center, the fairgrounds. It was chosen as the polling place because it's large enough to allow proper social distancing. If you're voting absentee, you have to get your ballot postmarked by tomorrow at midnight. You can also drop it off in person at the fairgrounds until 6 p.m. tomorrow. Over the weekend, Kentucky was put in the national spotlight with allegations of voter suppression. But today, Governor Andy Bashir disputed that. We have more people that have requested absentee ballots than voted in any of the primary elections in the past, oh, at least five years that we had up there. Uh, we've had um, mail-in voting for the first time in our history. I think that's the opposite of voter suppression. We've had uh, no excuse early voting for the first time in our history. I think that's the opposite of voter suppression. And the governor gave some impressive numbers today across the state. More than 883,000 absentee ballots have been requested. And if they're all returned, it would be the largest number of voters in Kentucky's primary in at least a decade because of that high number. We won't even know the final results until a week from now on Tuesday, June 30th. So there are many races on the ballot. But of course, one getting the most attention, the U.S. Senate Democratic primary. The heavily funded candidate seemed poised for a runaway win until recent demonstrations catapulted a West Louisville state senator right into the spotlight. 